Photography was filmed in front of an audience at Knife Point. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to fix this lamp so we can do the intro. What? That lamp isn't for video recording, it's for reading books. What's a book? <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. You're the one that programmed IntroBot to just stand there instead of fix lamps. I'll kill you all. <laughs> IntroBot. <laughs> Leave that lamp broken. You can't use that for video. It'll flicker, you idiot. I'll flicker you right in the penis if you don't watch your mouth. Right in the penis. You're gonna watch your mouth and my penis? Very funny. Can we roll the video? Yeah, okay. Well, that's it guys. You got the first look at the pilot that I'm going to be mailing to TBS in an envelope along with a small bushel of my pubes. 85 millimeter tonight, as always, my favorite nighttime lens. A lot of images here. This might be a bit of a longer video, so enjoy. This is a bit of an interesting one here. I used these cones and red tape as a foreground to sort of create this red ethereal look. She wasn't doing anything particularly interesting, but I still think it sort of helped get the juices flowing and thinking outside the box a little bit. Don't forget to keep an eye open for the pug hidden in this video because if you're the first person to correctly post the timestamp where it's at, I'll shave your ham for the holidays with a sheet of paper. A lot of these shots looking indoors from outside, as always, I really love the soft lighting that you get through glass. This one was a bit of a failure though, there just wasn't enough light on his face. may not have been dressed like it, but I could tell this old man was stylish as f***. She's not super obvious in this frame, so I had to crop it down quite a bit, but I really love this nice gradient of colors moving across this frosted glass.
still in warm-up mode here, and I find that if I just act like I have ADHD or something and just shoot everything that moves, it tends to get me in the flow really quickly. I stopped and camped at this corner for a few minutes just to shoot people walking in front of this pillar with these two lights on it, and I sort of softened them even more in post to make it look a little nicer, boosted the colors, and pulled some others back. my big dumb goddamn arm wasn't in the way because this dude immediately smiled for the photo. A little deeper up into my alley this time, a much cleaner composition, nice gradient on the back wall, and a little bit more light on the subject this time. I think this one might have been one of my favorites. I love this blue strip of light, and I really emphasize that in post, and I actually kind of debated cropping out the top of the umbrella, but I think it adds a nice frame to it, putting her in the bottom left corner like that. I really like this one too. I stopped here because of the nice gradient on the wall and she just happened to be making a nice little hand gesture. I just wish that he was maybe one pace back so I could see her face a little bit more cleanly, but can't really complain. And this one, even cleaner, nice framing, nice light behind him, nice silhouette, and still just enough light on his head and face. I always enjoy these dead liminal spaces. They're very depressing, but for some reason, photo worthy. For some reason, as I was walking up to these two, carrying these boxes, almost dropping it, some dipshit loser from behind me yelled, telling me not to take photos of people. I obviously ignored him, but at the same time, I feel like screaming into the void, shut the fuck up and mind your own business, you little baby bitch. I love it when bald dudes walk in front of really bright lights at night. It creates a really nice, strong silhouette. Nice 
As you can tell by the GoPro placement, I'm still pretty goddamn pissed off about that and many other things, but mostly just that. One of these days, I will find a permanent solution. So this was some crazy weird luck. I initially shot this girl because of her ponytail, but somebody's reflection lined up, and then again another reflection lined up for the person standing next to her. So I ended up with these two weird torso-less people in my images. It was pretty crazy. I really love this one because he was looking just dead into the camera while everybody else wasn't paying attention and they also framed him nicely. This was the one time I wish I would have brought maybe the 24 to 70 or something. The way that this theat ray was all lit up this night just looked gorgeous and all the people standing out front I think would have made for a nice scene. Still a good photo but I would have loved to get the whole sign in there. exception to that one douchebag I mentioned earlier, this was a really positive night. I had a really good time. Just overall good vibes out there in the street. The way that this graffiti wall is all lit up at night looks really awesome. So I actually camped out here in this little dead parking lot for a few minutes to try to get something. And I think another one of my favorites, I cropped the pubes out of this one to make almost a panoramic sort of shot. I did have to do a little bit of work in Photoshop to straighten some of these lines, but it wasn't super necessary. I just loved the colors and a little bit of editing I did really made them pop off the wall. Well, that's shitty much it, guys. I included a lot more photos this time around because I just had such a good night. I was just really popping off shots left and right, not really thinking about which ones are gonna be good and which ones are gonna be bad. And I think it overall just made for a much more positive shooting experience. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it or even if you just hated it so much that you wanna let me know. Do something, leave a comment, tell me I'm a loser or just leave me some good old fashioned hate mail on Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next one. Well.